Is file sharing not working on your Windows 11 PC? In this video, you will see how to fix network sharing issues on Windows 11. Enable file and network sharing. The first thing you should do is to check if the file and network sharing is correctly configured or not. To do that, open Setting. Click on Network and Internet. Now select Advanced Network Settings. Then click on Advanced Sharing Settings. Here you will see three network profiles, Private Networks, Public Networks, and All Networks. You need to enable the sharing on the profile that is currently active. You will see this Current Profile tag on it. Here make sure that Network Discovery is turned on. Then tick the box of Set up Network Connected Devices Automatically. Now enable the file and printer sharing. Now check if the file is shared or not. Share files properly. Another reason that file sharing isn't working could be you haven't properly shared the files. To check if everything is configured correctly, right-click on the folder or drive you want to share. Select Properties. Now go to the Sharing tab. Here you will see the status of that folder which is currently not shared. So click on the Advanced Sharing button. Select Share This Folder. Here you can configure sharing name and number of simultaneous users. Click Apply. Now the folder is shared. However, it is in read-only mode. If you want other users to modify the folder's content, click on Permissions. Here you can give permissions to everyone or add particular users. Turn password protection off and on. After sharing a file, users can only access the files if they have a user account on your PC or they know the username and password of your account. So you can try disabling the password protection and see if the users on other machines are able to access the folder. To do that, open Settings. Click on Network and Internet. Now select Advanced Network Settings. Then click on Advanced Sharing Settings. Expand the All Network section here. Disable the password protected sharing. Now check if shared folders are visible on other machines. Check Computer Browser Service. Sometimes Computer Browser Service gets hanged and file sharing could stop working due to this. You can try restarting this service. Press Windows plus R button and type services.msc. Now hit Enter. Then locate the computer browser service. Double click on it to open. If the service is already running, click on Stop. Now click on Startup Type and select Automatic. Now click on Start. Apply and close the dialog. Now see if your issue is resolved or not. If not, move to the next fix. Disable IPv6. Sometimes IPv6 causes issues, especially if other machines on your network are on IPv4. So you can try disabling the IPv6 and check if the network sharing is resolved. Open Settings. Click on Network and Internet. Now select Advanced Network Settings. Here click on More Network Adapter Options. Now right click on your current adapter and select Properties. Here locate Internet Protocol version 6. Deselect it and click OK. Change File Sharing Connection. Windows uses 128-bit encryption to protect the file sharing connections. Some devices may not support 128-bit and work on 40 or 56-bit encryption. If that is the situation, network sharing may not work, so you should try switching the file sharing connection. Open Settings. Click on Network and Internet. Now select Advanced Network Settings. Then click on Advanced Sharing Settings. Expand All Network section. Here go to File Sharing Connections, then select Enable File Sharing for devices that use 40 or 56-bit encryption. Now check if your issue is resolved. Update Windows 11.
Sometimes, a faulty update could also cause the issue. If you recently installed an update and network sharing stopped working, you can try uninstalling that update. To uninstall the update, open Settings. Then go to Windows Update. Click on Update History. Then go to Uninstall Update. Now click on Uninstall button against the recently installed update. Then follow the instructions to uninstall the update. If you haven't installed the latest update in a while, you should do that. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.